First, a moment of darkness. Take a look at this for millions across the country and right here in our own backyard. This afternoon's total solar eclipse had plenty of eyes to the skies to check out this amazing phenomenon. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us today. I'm Alex Cole. And I'm April Thompson. Watch parties have been held all over, and this was in Los Angeles a little bit earlier today. People gather with their special eclipse glasses to check out the site, and then there were the lucky folks who were in the path of totality that saw close to complete darkness. Now, this was in Carbondale, Illinois. The moon obscured the sun for about four minutes in Eagle Pass, Texas. Hundreds camped out on a high school football field to watch it turn from daylight to darkness. April? And one of the spots that saw totality was Conway, Arkansas. That's about two and a half hours from downtown Memphis. The University of Central Arkansas and Conway hosted a big watch party, as you can see here, with people from across America. WRAG Shea Arthur made the trip and takes us to the unifying, awe-inspiring experience. It lasted just minutes. It was the coolest thing I've ever seen. But the moments, the anticipation building, as millions across America waited to watch a total eclipse. Those few minutes for the large crowd of families, students, and people who traveled from near and far to central Arkansas, unforgettable. As it's now reached totality, you can really feel that excitement, that emotion here in the crowd. It actually feels different out here, too. The temperatures dropped about 10 to 12 degrees. Really such an incredible historical experience out here in central Arkansas. It was definitely once in a lifetime experience, and now I see the hype of what people were saying. I was kind of just like starstruck. I mean, it's so cool to be able to see that and experience that. Grad students Lauren Carter and Courtney Clausen were two of the thousands at the university who took in the views today. This couple, experienced Eclipse watchers, made the 900-mile trip from Florida. What is that feeling like when you when you see it? Uh, it's it's unworldly. You know, you just can't comprehend what it's like. It instantly turns dark in the middle of the day. Even the pups taking in the views. Domino the dog and his family visited from outside Dallas, Texas. It's great because we get to meet, you know, new people, you know, make new friends, even though you may not see them for a while. It's It, it does bring people get together. Some families got here as early as 7 o'clock this morning to get that perfect spot here on the football field to witness history this afternoon. We've been planning for over a year. Those with the university expected to host people from 35 different states, offering a variety of learning activities and games for families throughout the day. This is a real unifying event. It's something that might be a once in a lifetime experience for some people. So yeah, we're seeing people from coast to coast, Hawaii, other countries come together for a really special event. A lifetime experience for those young. Are you excited? Yeah. And for those who made the trip from Memphis, including the 140 students from University High School. Thank you to the University of Central Arkansas for inviting us out here. We are very grateful for this opportunity. We are very, we're taking advantage of everything that we can do out here. Love, much love, much love. Shay Arthur, WREG News Channel 3.